just uh, touching base with you real quickly. Uh, last night I upgraded my uh, Creality Ender 3 with the um, direct drive mounting bracket that I got on Thingiverse. Um, everything's stock, uh, but I mounted the extruder right on top of the hot end, and I was kind of leery on how it was going to work out. But uh, to my surprise, it lined up beautifully right there, and there is no, I mean, there's a Bowden tube inside, of course, cut the length, but both of the, uh, both of the clips kind of butt up to each other, so there's no tube exposed. Um, but it, it's working really good with like a one millimeter retraction. Um, I ran a retraction test this morning and I have no straining at all. Um, this is some transparent uh, PDG filament running at like 240, bed 70s. But uh, yeah, I was a little leery about doing it, but it seems like the center of gravity is really nice. Uh, you will have to upgrade your cable because it's not long enough, but I just ran from here on down. I actually used a computer power supply cable on an old power supply, it worked out really well. Um, you will have to spin your reel around too, you know, spin it around. Um, it gives you a little bit of a guitar string, which I'll probably print something for that. But I have the uh, uh, Pets Fang, works good, because right here, I like the, the fact that it actually grabs the metal. And then on the other side, you have two screws, one of them's hidden under the fan, and the other's right there with the V2 Touch will go. Um, but yeah, she's a little noisy, but I plan on upgrading the, uh, the motherboard anyway to the new stepper drivers. Uh, I upgraded the firmware to the, uh, I want to say it was TH3D, using uh, Arduino Uno, which was like $6. So now I can upgrade the firmware relatively easily. Um, plus I have it direct connected to the Matter Hatters, or Matter Hackers, Matter Control. It works awesome. It's way better in my opinion than the Cura and it gives me a lot more control. It allows you to add your own uh, start and stop G code. I mean you can do whatever you want to to make it more like yours. Um, it'll also show you where it's printing and what layer it's printing on at the moment. Which the Cura does too I think but it just I, I never really got into the Cura thing. Um, another thing that's kind of neat is with my endoscope I can actually watch it uh, as it's laying. Uh, filament so I, I love that um, yeah there's a lot of supports in here so that's why it kind of looks a little messy but yeah on the whole uh, I would recommend it I think it's like awesome I don't see any problems I'm gonna play around with speed and see what I can get out of it uh, to see if maybe I can increase the speed but I did it more for the fact that I could use flexible filaments without any real problem and uh, so far so good. I would highly recommend it. I looked for a lot of different ideas on Thingiverse, but this guy's was the best and I was really impressed. Um, like I say, you may have to turn your roll, but other than that, I would recommend it. Um, very, very, very impressed and very happy with how it came out. So uh, I'll leave the links in the description and uh, yeah, thanks.